Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to this Flutter course, where today we're going to be starting up Unit 5, uh, where we're going to be going over the uh, very basic uh, of uh, Flutter widgets. So, um, you know, basic Flutter widgets, nothing difficult here. Um, so yeah, without further ado then, let's uh, get started. So today we're going to be going over the text widget, um, very basic widget. We've already seen our do it, but there are a few things about the text widget that you may not have known and we're going to be going over that today so without so yeah let's 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 go let's go what, what are we doing here let's, let's stop with the introductions okay so uh flutter text widget the text widget allows us to display a string of text with a single style the string can break and be on many lines or confined to one line depending on layout constraints so here we have a sample code we have a class my test bed extends stateless widget and then we build the widget and we just return a uh, new text widget inside a material app. So yeah, very simple stuff. And then we get this result right here. So this is some text, very, very simple stuff. Let's very quickly go ahead and implement this in the code. All right, so here we are. Uh, we've already done, done this quite a few times. So let's just go, go ahead and do a uh, class, class my app extends stateless widget, you know, simple stuff. We've done this, I think, I think we've done this like a million times now or something like that stateless widget um, always important to spell things correctly when coding that's um like a very big part and then just uh text text equals equals remember we don't need the new keyword in dart and let's just pass in uh this is text as the uh whoops what am i doing all right i can't i can't type this is text the my microphone's covering my keyboard <laughs> uh, this is text as Okay, we'll leave that texts. Um, and then we're going to return uh, material app and then pass in the text widget so that it actually displays correctly. All right, so yeah, home text. There we go. All right, um, start up the device. Uh, there we go. All right, it's starting up. All right. Uh, whoops, that's the PowerPoint. Let's get that out of there. There we go. We got the device. Let's run this on the device. Give that a second to, a second to build, and then we should be good to go just to see everything actually working. Um, and then we're going to jump right into the next part just because we've already seen our do this. There's really nothing nothing difficult here. You know, text, just text. I mean, it's, it's just text. There's, it, it's just text. Come on, man. There's nothing to see here, you know? All right, and it looks like there we go. Where Where is the text? though i can't oh there we go there it is all right so yeah there we go let me start up this is text text you know i misspelled it but whatever um anyway there we go we got text running super simple stuff let's move on all right so uh you can see here um we can also style text so the text widget has an optional style parameter this allows us to change how the text looks it takes in an input of type text style so this text style class where we can specify a uh, color, a decoration, font family, font size, weight, and so on. And uh, for a full list of attributes referred to the Flutter documentation, you can take a look at text style and you can see the entire list of everything that we can actually add there. But we can see a very simple example here. So we have a widget build text text, this is some text, and then we have a style, new text style. And for the color, we're setting colors.blue. For the font weight, we're setting font weight.normal. And the decoration, we're setting the text decoration.none. And you can see that this has a couple of things. So first of all, it makes the color blue. It, it sends the font to weight to normal, which it already was normal, so that doesn't change. And then it just removes the underline. So text decoration.none removes the underline that we saw previously. So right here, we had an underline. And then here, we don't have it anymore because we did text decoration.none. And so that is a text style. And there is a ton of different things that we can do with the text style. But we're just going to have a look at these few basic ones. Um, and I mean, it's all pretty self-explanatory. You can take a look at the Flutter docs in order to actually get, um, you know, um, a good idea of all the different text styles that we have. And uh, a thing to know is that in the event that we don't specify a, a style, the text will use the style specified in the closest wrapping default text style widget. If one isn't provided, it will use a default text style. So essentially, this just means that... Um, it will use uh, the default text style widget. Um, so we can wrap an, a, a widget um, in default text style with some default text styles, and then all the text styles inside that default text style widget will actually be of that text style. So if we uh, cr create a default text style widget, and let's say that set the color to yellow, and then inside there we put something like, uh, I don't know, uh, we haven't really gone over it, but let's say like a center widget, and then 
um, you know, I don't know, maybe, you know, a few other widgets and then some text. It's, and then we don't specify a style for that text. It's going to set that text style to yellow. So that's essentially um, the text color to yellow. So that's because that's because it's wrapped in, the, in that default text style with that yellow color. And so that's why that's going to happen. So yeah, that's just something to note. Um, you can, again, if you're interested in that, you can have a look at it in the, uh, in the documentation um, to see exactly how that works. But um, you don't really need it for now. Um, it's not required. So yeah, for now, that we just need to know how to use the actual text style. So let's have a look at that. All right, so here we are in the application. So first of all, let me change this to text. There we go. And then next, what we're going to do here is do comma. And let me make this bigger. Whoops, what am I doing? Uh, let me make this bigger here. I can't make it bigger, can I? Here, let me let me make it bigger really quickly. All right, there we go. I made, I made it bigger. Hopefully now you can see better. Okay, so we have a uh, text, text equals uh, text. And then here we're going to add after the data, we're going to add um, style and text style. Text style. There we go. And then we can right click on that, go to declaration. And there we go. We can see text style. And then we have inherit color, font size, font weight, font style. So these are all the different, um, you know, configurations that we can insert, parameters that we can insert, and uh, we can use them to style our text accordingly. So we're going to have a look at uh, basic text styles to do color. Color is going to be colors dot, uh, let's just say, uh, I don't know, blue accent. All right. All right. So let's save that. That's going to hot reload. And there we go. We get colors dot blue accent. Perfect. All right, so um, that's at how uh, the uh, basic that the basic idea of a uh, styling text in Flutter. All right, so uh, the next thing we're going to have a look at with uh, with working with text is something called max lines. So we can also specify the maximum number of lines that the text can occupy using the max lines attribute. This will cut the text according to the specified overflow strategy. And we're going to be going over over overflow um, in just a second here, but. The idea of max lines, so you can see here how we have, um, this is some text. In fact, this isn't just some text, it is the best text. And since we set the max lines to four here, you can see that it just has four lines and um, text, some text, it is the best text should have been on the next line. But since we only allowed it four lines, in results, it only gets four lines and it cuts off the rest of the text. So that's what max lines allows us to do. And so that's essentially how, how that works. So let's have a look at how we can implement this in the code. I always say that like how we can implement this in the code as though we're looking at some really complex algorithm and we had to look at it like a, you know, like a high level overview of the algorithm. And then now all of a sudden we're having a look at uh, the, how we can actually implement it. We're actually just looking at, you know, basic lines of code. Okay. So we're going to have, this is, uh, this is text and we're going to maybe let's paste that like three times. And then here, what we're going to do is we're going to do, let's, let's format this first of all. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say um, max lines and let's just say um, two. There's going to be two max lines. That's going to be the maximum max lines. Uh, let's save that give that a chance to reload. And there we go. You can see that even though we have this is text three times as the data, we have to, since the max lines is two, it cuts off the third line. And we can go ahead and make it three now and save that. That's going to reload. And now you can see that it's going to go ahead and add that third one back. So there we go. Simple as that. That's how max lines work. But what if we wanted to, you know, change the strategy of the overflow of uh, of when max lines is two? How would we do that? Well, we would specify overflow. Okay, so um, here we can see uh, how text overflow works. So specifying the overflow property of text allows us to specify how the overflow of text should be handled. It takes it takes in a text overflow object which has three main options: clip, ellipsis, and fade. Clip simply cuts the text, ellipsis cuts the text, but puts a dot, dot, dot at the end to signify that there is a text cut there and fade fades the text out. So you may think you may, you may understand the idea. It's very, it's a very basic idea here. So a clip is by default, it's going to be clip. It's just going to, you know, just cut the text and just remove it when there is a, when there's an overflow, um, ellipsis is going to add these three dots. So we can see right here that we have ellipsis. So it gives us these three dots at the end here. And then finally, um, fade just fades the text out. And we, it's hard to see fade here because we're using um, overflow. So it's not gonna really gonna, we can't really do fade because either it's 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 on a line or it's not. There, there, really, there really is no way to fade it out. But uh, if, if we were to, you know, um, have it overflow in some other way, then we would, you know, use the actual, see the fade. But we're just, we're just gonna have a look at clip and ellipsis uh, here just because we can't really demonstrate fade in, in, in this tutorial. So yeah, anyway, then let's have a look at uh, how this will work. Okay, so here we are. 
And uh, so here, what we're going to do is we're going to have this uh, overflow here. And here at the end, what we're going to do, or not the end, we're going to add in a parameter here, overflow. And the overflow is going to be text, whoops, text overflow dot ellipsis. There we go. Simple as that. Let's, let's start off with clip. I mean, clip isn't going to change. Whoops, clip. There we go. Save that. Let it reload. Clip isn't going to change anything since it is by default. You can see that. There we go. Nothing changes. If we, on the other hand, do ellipsis, you're going to see that what it's going to do. And there we go. It's going to add three dots at the end just to signify that there has been an overflow. If, on the other hand, we do three lines here, you're going to see that what happens there we go. There's no longer any overflow and the uh, the three dots are inserted. So that is this ellipsis. And again, we do have fade, but I can't demonstrate it here because um, there's just there's just no way really to demonstrate it. So yeah, okay, there we go. That is the uh, how overflow how we can specify the overflow strategy. All right, and there we go. Other than that, then that is actually all for today's lesson. So at this point, um, you may be pretty, pretty uh, thinking that this is all very simple and hope that's good that it is um, because you know, text is a big part of apps. Usually, apps are just consistent of you know, link text links were just text that you can click, um, you know, buttons, and images. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. And, and, and all that just in, uh, in in a big list. That's pretty much all applications. And then you obviously you can input data as well. That's that's pretty much the entirety of apps. Um, so yeah, but and then again, it's not that simple um, to get all that working together correctly to make it look good. It takes a lot of work, but that is a big part of it. So you can understand text that's already a very that you're making progress with flutter that's good um but the point of this really is just to make you understand how we can change widgets and sort of how we can use them to actually build applications and text is a very simple widget i get it um, but the next time we're going to be going over container which is a little bit more complex but we can also do more with it so it's gonna it's gonna allow us to so right now our text it's good but it doesn't really i mean it's there but it doesn't really look very good in the next lesson, we're going to take a look at how we can use container to make our text um, pos be positioned in a way that we want. So yeah. Um, anyway, then I'm going to see you next time where we're going to be going over container. Till soon.